It's Friday, Friday, gonna get down on Friday. I'm your host, Andrew, this is Crypto Espresso, your teeny tiny shot of daily crypto news, and here we go. First up, Bitcoin has risen 10% over the past week with the world's biggest cryptocurrency currently hitting just below $45,000. This comes after the foundation that runs the UST algorithmic stablecoin announced it plans to hold a Bitcoin worth $3 billion in reserve, with a long-term plan to raise this reserve to $10 billion. Meanwhile, a prominent Russian politician has suggested that the country may start accepting Bitcoin as payment for oil and gas as economic sanctions close in. Friday also saw the threat of restrictions of proof-of-work blockchains, such as Bitcoin, disappear in Europe. But not all good news for crypto, as crypto transactions in India are going to be substantially more expensive starting next week. So expensive, in fact, that one MP is warning that the measures could kill the industry. From April 1st, investors will need to pay a 30% capital gains tax on any profits they make after selling their digital assets, and losses cannot be offset against other taxes. But the measure that's causing the most alarm is a 1% tax that's being slapped on all crypto transactions, which could dramatically reduce trading volumes in the country. Diplo has announced that he's tokenizing his latest single and owners will be able to get a share of the song's royalties. The Grammy-winning artist is releasing Don't Forget My Love through the Royal platform, which allows fans to own their favorite music. Three tiers of NFTs are being offered for Diplo's release, and in total, 20% of streaming royalties are being given away across 2,110 NFTs. The cheapest NFT costs $99 and entitles the owner to 0.004% of the money made through streams on Spotify and Apple Music. Royal has previously entered into collaborations with Nas, a high-profile rapper who also invested in the project's funding round. And those drops sold out. Diplo's tokens will be available to buy on Tuesday. David Beckham is entering the metaverse in a big money deal and is going to release his own NFT collection. The footballing legend is becoming a global brand ambassador for the Digital Bits blockchain. This is one of the biggest celebrity endorsements that crypto has seen, not least because Beckham has 138 million followers on social media and 9 billion annual impressions. The 46-year-old, who has gone to make millions as an entrepreneur after a successful career of playing for Manchester United, described the deal as a major opportunity to create new experiences for my fans online. And finally, two 20-year-olds have been charged with defrauding NFT investors out of $1 million and were arrested as they planned to strike again. Ethan Nguyen and Andre Lasuna are being accused of advertising a non-fungible token collection called Frosties, but hours after their NFT sale completed, they abandoned the project and allegedly disappeared with the cash. Prosecutors say the pair were planning to raise a further $1.5 million through a collection called Embers that was due to be released on Saturday. They face decades in prison if convicted, and the community have welcomed news of their arrest, tweeting, Justice has been served, Frosty fam. And speaking of cereal, I'm a bit of a cereal punster myself. Snap, crackle, and pop that like button. Coco, puff up our subscription numbers by subscribing, and don't flake out on watching our videos by clicking that little bell icon to get buzzed whenever a new Crypto Espresso goes life. When it comes to learning about crypto, there are no tricks. Just ask Alex in the description below if you have any questions about our headlines or about crypto in general. And again, I've been your host, Andrew. This has been the news. And ladies and gentlemen, the weekend. You can count, Chocula, on us being back on Monday. Cheerio.